How's it going everyone? This is Ron from YodaConnectors.com and today we're going to be talking super wiring. Um, specifically, we're going to be looking at the IGN circuit and the EFI main relay circuit. So today we're going to be looking at my 90 and my 92 book. However, this will still apply to all your Mark 3s from 86 and a half to 92. All right, so we're going to start by looking at the IGN circuit. So the IGN circuit shown right here, it's a 7.5 amp fuse. It's in the driver's side kick panel. Let me scoot this back over right there. So power goes through your ignition switch when turned to the on or start position through the fuse and then back over to the ECU. So that's shown right here as from the fuse through the body to the B1 connector, which is one of the main body harness connectors within the dash, then through the engine harness and then to the ECU at the IGSW input. And you'll notice that the black orange wire actually changes color. Now this is a 1990 book and I do believe 89 and older maintains the black with the orange stripe in the engine harness. So the next part we're gonna look at is the MREL. So that's the main relay output from the ECU. So when the ECU is told that the ignition switch is on or start, then it sends 12 volts out through the engine harness to the C1 connector in the engine bay. And if we trace that wire, we'll see that it comes to the EFI main relay coil. So the relay through the coil, when that gets 12 volts on one side and it has ground on the other, it excites that relay, closes the contacts, and then gives 12 volt power from the EFI fuse through that relay then through the C1 connector in the engine bay, and then to the various parts of the engine harness, including the ECU, the idle speed control shown here, the SVs, and also the circuit open relay. And that actually gives your fuel pump power unless you've done a bypass mod. So there's one other circuit on this EFI system that we want to cover, and that's the black and yellow wire, also known as the BATT or BAT. So you'll notice that that wire is upstream of the relay, but downstream of the 15 amp EFI fuse. So that fuse is con it's constant 12 volts. So if we trace that wire back, we'll see it goes through the body up to the C1 connector, and then through the engine harness, and then to the ECU at the bat input. So that's so your ECU can maintain uh, stored codes. So if you're clearing your codes, if you pull that EFI fuse, for 15 to 30 seconds, your ECU will reset. So there's no need to unhook your battery. You can just unhook the, or remove the 15 amp EFI fuse and get the same results, unless you've got some janky wiring and somebody's bypassed that circuit. So these components, this EFI main relay and the EFI fuse, scoot this over, that's located in the fuse box in the front. We're, I think we're all familiar with that one, but we can take a look at that right here. So this is from the front of the car being here where the battery would be. You'll see the EFI main relay, it's a four pin, and then the EFI 15 amp fuse right there. And then the C1 connector, which we talked about, uh, that one is a six pin, and that's located on the uh, engine harness just adjacent to that fuse box. And on the pre-89s, it's a six pin yellow connector, and then in 89, it changed to gray. And then in 90, they changed the, the style of that connector, the C1 connector, and it maintained its color of gray. All right, so that covers the EFI main relay circuit. If you have any specific questions on this circuit, just shoot me a comment or an email. And if there's any other circuits in the Mark III Super you want me to go over and make a video on, just shoot me a comment or email and I'll see what I can do. This has been Ron with YodaConnectors.com. Thanks for watching and see you later.